If you're thinking about getting a drone this Christmas as a gift, just keep in mind this year is different from all the other Christmases. Uh, previously, you could just buy any drone, almost any drone, and take it almost anywhere and fly um, within certain restrictions. You know, for example, you couldn't fly it over a military base at any point in time. Um, but nowadays, things are a little more complicated as these have been becoming more and more of a security slash safety issue. So this is a DJI Mini 2, so it's under 250 grams. So if I just want to fly this for fun, or let's say I want to give it to somebody as a gift just for flying for fun, then there's no problem with that. You can, if you want, go to the FAA, take a trust exam, which tells you some of the basic safety measures, like you can't fly this above 400 feet, um, you can't fly it beyond your visual line of sight, things like that. Um, that's what's covered in that test. Now, if I want to fly this for my business, um, then things have changed. So you can't just take this out and fly it. Um, you have to get what's called a Part 107 certificate, which is an FAA certification, um, which takes you way more in depth as far as understanding airspace, um, how things are regulated in terms of flying. Um, and that's because if you're doing this for outside recreational purposes, you're technically a commercial pilot. At that point yeah you're not flying 737s with 100 people in the back um, but you're nonetheless flying in, in shared airspace now if I fly this inside I do whatever I want because the only person I'm putting at jeopardy or risk is myself or my children or my family um, so then once you get above 249 kilograms such as this guy the requirements this year have also changed where now I have to have something um, called remote ID. So there is a bigger cousin to this um, And in that case the remote ID is built into the drone. So I, the bigger version of this is called the air um, There are others besides that but the air would have that remote ID built into it In this case if you build your own drones, for example an FPV, this is the Joshua Bardwell um, DIY kit um, now obviously this doesn't have firmware that I can update with remote ID capability. So in the case of these guys, you add an external module. So inside this little purple box that um, I 3D printed is a little small circuit board. And on that circuit board is a GPS sensor and then a transmitter, which is similar in frequency to Wi-Fi, which transmits the location of this drone. So that's what's changed this year. So the older drones um, now that are heavier with the firmware it's going to transmit over remote id where the pilot location is um, a new a unique identifier that only law enforcement theoretically can pull out that identifies this um, uas autonomous air system um, and then the location of the drone itself so that someone afterwards could track whether it's in restricted airspace or if it's flying in a, in a correct area with this guy, with the remote ID module that's been added, this only tells it the location of this drone. Now, in theory, this should be as accurate as GPS, but in practice, um, I've watched a Joshua Bardwell video where he had a competitor to this guy and it was kind of all over the place. This is a flight test remote ID. Um, last I checked, they were $99 and <clears throat> this was kind of jumping all over the place as well. And what I've done is um, I use uh, CR 2023 rechargeable batteries. So this is the box that they came in. You can sort of see a picture of four of them. Um, two rechargeable batteries. I get it about an hour of remote ID broadcast. And this is the antenna um, for the goggles. And because this is an FPV, you're wearing goggles when you fly this. And then this is the receiver for the remote control, for the transmitter, the controller. Now the issue when you build your own can be this, in my opinion, has potential to interfere with this because there's similar um, frequencies, but that's getting too in depth for what I intended this video. The intent for this video was just to explain um, the rules have gotten more complicated based on the heaviness of the drone and the purpose of the drone. If it's recreational for fun, no remote ID, no registration is still required. That could change. 
um, anything over 249 or for commercial um, remote ID is now the change. As always, thanks for watching. Happy holidays and thank you for liking, uh, hitting the subscribe button and comment. So feel free to make comments if this helped or if this didn't. Thanks. Bye.